Teachers at the Valley's largest school district are facing layoffs once again. KMIR 6's Angela Monroe was at the Desert Sand School Board meeting tonight and joins us now with the story. Angela. Well, the school district is looking at cutting 27 positions at our local schools, mostly teachers and two administrators. And after the passage of Prop 30 that increased taxes to fund education, teachers want to know why more cuts. The evening began celebrating students from our local schools, but teachers waited in the audience, worried about their jobs. It is very frustrating when we also see that districts, two other districts within the Coachella Valley, teachers are making more than we are. Desert Sands Unified says they're looking at cuts that other districts are not because of rising benefit costs. These cuts close a $1.2 million budget shortfall. I'm hopeful that with the more budget news, with um, concessions at the table, with uh, whatever we can do um, with retirements, teacher retirements, our folks that um, are temporary teachers, we can bring these folks back. The Teachers Association says they can't afford any more cuts with 1,200 teachers for more than 29,000 students. Five years ago, we were at 1,400. So with each year, we have more and more cuts, and our class sizes have gotten larger and larger, which means that the, the teachers are being asked repeatedly to do more and more with less and less. Prop 30 passed last fall, leaving teachers wondering why more cuts. Now we're, we're saying, okay, you were spared $12 million in cuts, so it's time to feel the love. But the district says Prop 30 helped them avoid drastic cuts that would have happened this year. What it's done is restored us to below the 2007-2008 budget amount. That's far too less to run a district with growing uh, costs. And with growing classrooms, teacher Laura Alcorn hopes for compromise. I would like to see that we can come together as, as a board and as a union, those of us as teachers, that we can compromise and not always look at furlough days, but look at something that will benefit all of us. And tonight, the board voted 3-2 to two to approve the layoff notices. These are preliminary layoff notices. After bargaining, the final notice is May 15th. Back to you, Elizabeth.